Facts First presents the Kentucky Derby. It's horses, hats, and healthy pours of mint juleps. There are few sporting events more steeped in tradition and pomp than the Kentucky Derby. It's a chance for people to watch magnificent creatures ridden by the best jockeys in the world. It's also a chance for people in attendance or at home to place bets and try their luck on the outcome. So let's strap on a riding helmet, jump on the stirrups, and talk about the history of the Derby, as well as some interesting tidbits you might not know. The Kentucky Derby is the longest-running sporting event in the United States, dating back to 1875. The race is often referred to as the Run for the Roses, and it has continuously produced the most exciting two minutes in sports uninterrupted. Yep, they kept it going even when coinciding with events like the Great Depression and World Wars I and II. Fun fact number one, 19 past winners have had names beginning with the letter S. That includes the fastest horse in Kentucky Derby history, Secretariat, who completed the 1973 race in just under two minutes. The Kentucky Derby's long history began in 1872. Meriwether Lewis Clark, the grandson of William Clark of the famed pair Lewis and Clark, traveled to Europe. While he was in England, he attended the Epsom Derby in England. The Epsom was a well-known horse race since 1780. Clark also visited France and met the French Jockey Club, a group that developed Grand Prix de Paris Longchamps, another popular horse race. Inspired, Clark returned to America and decided to create an American horse racing equivalent. Fun fact number two, on average, spectators at the Derby eat 142,000 hot dogs, 18,000 barbecue sandwiches, and 13,800 pounds of beef. Oh, and 32,400 jumbo shrimp, 9,000 scallops, 8,000 pounds of potatoes, 30,000 cookies, and 300,000 strawberries. Clark enlisted the help of two of his wealthy uncles, John and Henry Churchill. The Churchill brothers gave Clark land to develop a racetrack. Clark then organized a group of local race fans that he called Louisville Jockey Club. Together, they began fundraising for funds to build a permanent racetrack in Louisville, Kentucky. Fun fact number three, only three horses raced in the 1892 Kentucky Derby. On May 17, 1875, the racetrack held its first Kentucky Derby. A total of 15 three-year-old thoroughbred horses raced one and a half miles in front of a crowd of around 10,000 spectators. The first winner was named Aristides. Fun fact number four, the youngest jockey to win was 15-year-old Alonzo Lonnie Clayton. Bill Shoemaker continues to hold the title as the oldest winner. In 1986, he won at the age of 54. As you'd expect, the Kentucky Derby has changed over the course of three centuries. For one, they have shortened the distance of the race. They've also introduced traditions like draping the winning horse in a garland of roses. And of course, the crowd sizes have only continued to grow. The Kentucky Derby has embraced these changes while honoring the integrity of the event created by Meriwether Lewis Clark. Fun fact number five. The mint julep is the traditional drink of the Derby. It's estimated that more than 120,000 are finished at the race each year. Here are some important events in the life of the Kentucky Derby. In 1883, the name Churchill Downs is first used as a name for the Derby's racetrack. In 1889, bookmakers demanded that Colonel Clark remove paramutual betting machines because they were cutting into the bookmakers' profits. In 1894, the growing crowd size meant new construction was needed. A 285-foot grandstand was built. In 1896, it was decided that one and a half miles is too long for three-year-old thoroughbreds that early in the spring, so it gets shortened to one and a quarter miles. Ben Brush wins the Derby, and he receives a floral arrangement of white and pink roses. Fun fact number six, Diane Crump was the first female jockey to compete in the Derby. There hasn't ever been a female winner, though Shelley Riley came the closest in 1992 when she came in second. Now back to our memorable moments. In 1904, the Red Rose became the official flower of the Kentucky Derby. In 1908, Paramutual wagering machines are allowed again, and bookmakers are outlawed. The Derby Day crowd bets a total of $67,570. Fun fact number seven. 
The lowest temperature at the Derby was 47 degrees in 1935 and 1957, and the record high was 94 degrees in 1959. In 1919, Sir Barton wins the Derby, but more notably he is the first winner of what would become the Triple Crown, having won the Preakness Stakes and the Belmont Stakes that same year. In 1925 came the first network radio broadcast of the Kentucky Derby. There were an estimated 5 to 6 million listeners tuning in. Starting in 1931, the Kentucky Derby was permanently scheduled for the first Saturday in May. The move was largely due to the popularity of the idea of a Triple Crown winner and allowed for a consistent racing schedule for horses that would participate in the three races. Fun fact number eight, owner Calumet Farm holds the record for most Kentucky Derby wins with eight. Plain Ben Jones holds the record for trainer with the most wins with six. In 1949, the 75th Kentucky Derby is locally telecast for the first time. Then, in 1952, the Derby gets its first national live television coverage. An estimated 10 to 15 million viewers tune in to watch Hill Gale win the Derby. In 1973, the 99th running of the Kentucky Derby saw Secretariat win with the fastest finishing time to date. Secretariat completed the race in 1 minute 59.4 seconds and went on to win the Triple Crown, which hadn't happened in 25 years. Fun fact number nine, only three fillies, female horses, have won the Derby. Regret in 1915, Genuine Risk in 1980, and Winning Colors in 1988. In 1985, the Kentucky Derby Museum is opened on the grounds of Churchill Downs Racetrack just one week before the Kentucky Derby is run. The museum's mission was, and still is, to continue to preserve the history and to share the fun of the Kentucky Derby experience. 1999. The Kentucky Derby celebrates its 125th running, and Charismatic wins the race. This is the first year Kentucky Derby fans are able to place future wagers. The future wager allows fans to bet on contenders leading up to the Derby race, when the odds are higher and there is an opportunity to win more money if the contender wins. In 2012, the Derby has a record attendance of 165,307 fans. Wagering also set a record with $133.1 million wagered on the Kentucky Derby race across all sources. In 2015, American Pharaoh wins the Kentucky Derby and the Triple Crown, breaking a drought of over 30 years. Fun fact number 10. The purse for the 2019 Derby will be $3 million, with the winner taking home $1.86 million, $600,000 for second place, $300,000 for third place, $150,000 for fourth place, and $90,000 for fifth. This marks a significant increase in the prize money. From 2005 to 2018, the purse was only $2 million. So now you have enough knowledge to go out there and win the Derby. Okay, maybe not. But you can at least watch and appreciate it a bit more. And maybe even make a wager or two. Subscribe for more!